Hey everybody, welcome back. We have another Alliance War today. This is the 10th war of the season. I'm going to be editing war number 10 and 11 today, so they should both be coming out relatively soon. And this was a pretty short war, so I'm just going to go over the three fights that I was assigned, and then I am going to have a featured crystal opening at the end, my latest attempt to try to get Hercules or Spider-Man 2099 dupe. And uh, my job today was sort of garbage cleanup is what I like to call this job. It's when I bring in three specific champions that all counter a specific fight on the map pretty much perfectly. And, you know, all the dooms and human torches and everybody are off going in their own direction, taking multiple fights because they can. And then there was just a few fights left on the map where we needed these hard counters to ensure that we didn't die. And I sort of had that job just because I had the specific rank threes needed. Um, so I have taken this domino before on hazard shift. It can be a little scary because your abilities can fail. And you may notice that I don't have wasp on the team, but actually that's a good thing because you should never rely on wasp when you're fighting domino. So here we go. We're gonna build up a little bit of power at the beginning. Uh, the parry failed there, but not the end of the world. Uh, so then we dash back. We do get the conversion there. We dash back then, we get the phase, but we don't get the conversion. So that is also something that can happen. As you can see, I let her come to me, um, which is a little bit safer than relying on the wasp synergy. Um, so yeah, and that fight is over. Uh, so just to talk about the wasp thing one more time, if you dash back and don't phase because an ability fails, then the wasp unblockable specials will not happen as well. And if that happens, you leave yourself open to attack. So that's why I was able to very easily leave her off because I was going to be playing uh, Ghost without the synergy anyway, uh, just by sort of like throwing down block and, and letting her um, come to me so that I can throw my special two and hope that it crits. So yeah, that went very smoothly. It's always a little bit of a crapshoot against Domino, but as far as Domino and Ghost matchups go, that one went pretty well. So next up, I'm gonna be finishing off path 4B, and this is my first time bringing Warlock to war. He's a fresh rank three for me, and very excited to use him. I do think he is the best option for this fight, um, because you are able to obviously completely negate anything from happening with your armor, but my plan is to not even get to that point. Um, hopefully we can get some power drains going, um, anytime he throws his heavy, he's going to lose some plasma charges. So I'm not finishing my combos. I'm just kind of throwing down block, uh, allowing him to either throw the heavy or go into one of my reparries. And then anytime he gets power drained, he is going to basically lose all of those plasma debuffs. So I am building to a special three just for safety to get the massive power drain on him. I'm always trying to push him to his special two, uh, because when he throws that, it's not going to like overcharge him like the special one does so as you can see it's just sort of a lot of like get to four hits and then throw down block let him hit my block a little bit um, I don't really care about the chip damage and now we're gonna see this special three which does an okay amount of damage and then it puts that passive on him uh, that degenerates him a little bit and also steals a little bit of power at the end so as you can see there we've got the power burn uh, so he's sort of back to square one with zero power. We're very much winning this fight. I even got a little bit of regen off of that special three, which is another nice piece of utility. And this fight's not going to go in the record books as the fastest fight ever, but you will see that he basically never gets to 10 plasmas. I never get any of the plasma buildups on me, so the only debuffs I worry about is the armor break and the heal block that come off of that special attack. And I should be able to finish him with a big special two right here. Just looking at his HP, I have no problem throwing this and taking him down. Um, so yeah, I did kind of want to avoid the special two in case many of the hits crit. It could built up some plasma and as soon as I got some plasma debuffs on me then you know he could have gone unblockable and yeah so that's why I just went for the special threes um, and I should have mentioned earlier we are facing ISO 8A who is a fantastic alliance uh, no pun intended as we see Reed here um, but you may recognize Barrow Man um, youtuber and uh, so we're going up against him with Mole Man who again this is one of my only times I've ever brought Mole Man to war and my 
way of playing him here is going to be very, very conservative. So I know that it is possible to activate Frenzy, but what I really want to do is always have Frenzy off so that I can continue to purify debuffs. And I always want to keep this True Strike passive on, which means I want my monster mass to be under 10. Uh, as you can see, anytime I purify a debuff, I am going to be going unblockable myself. Um, and they do purify pretty quickly, so I am going to need to take blocked hits every once in a while um, in order to, um, how you say it, in order to make sure that I don't get over 10 monster mass. So as you can see there, I went into Frenzy for a short period, but I wanted it to end so that I got my debuff shrugging ability back okay so mole man should be a very quick fight because his damage is absolutely insane when you go into frenzy but in this fight i really don't want to get into frenzy again because i the things i want to keep up are the true accuracy uh, which is going to prevent any kind of evade and then also the debuff shrugging ability so right there um, you saw another ability of his which is to resist unblockable attacks like heavy attacks and my monster mastery set to zero that was kind of a mistake but it ended up being like a really good play in this match um, so as you can see i'm just shrugging debuffs for days like no problem i am unblockable right now but i just sort of want him to throw this and, you know, I'm just kind of showing that even though Mole Man is like an absolute beast damage machine, that in this fight, I didn't really want to rely on his damage to nuke the fight. Um, we were losing the time battle anyway. I would rather just play this fight super safe and just end with a bunch of health and basically take him down utilizing the utility of Mole Man instead of his damage. So um, perhaps I could have kind of gone for a finishing blow in Frenzy, but I did have my true accuracy up the entire time and the ability to shrug the entire time. Um, and then we did get one more tick of bleed at the very end to kill him. Um, Mr. Fantastic is a pretty tanky guy in general so you know that one took a little bit longer but yeah very clean war three fights felt like i had the perfect counters for them and that's going to be the end of the war so after i move up to this man thing for our mr negative player to take we are going to transition back to another featured six star crystal as you know i have pulled purgatory and overseer and spider-man 2099 so those are the new champs that i've gotten out of this thing i would love to dupe 2099 or get herc so let's throw this thing in the spinner and see if today is going to be the day to get Hercules or Human Torch, I should say. I am quite interested in getting him. And yeah, Spider-Man 2099 is definitely going to go to rank 3 for me at some point. I just would love to get that dupe for the extra damage and combat power rate. And we're just going to let this spin a little bit longer. Um, the other Spider-Man that I would slightly be interested in is Starkey. Uh, just because I've never really played him as a 5-star. So here we go. Rolling around. There's Spider-Man. There's Penny. Ooh. <laughs> I thought it was going to land on Torch. But it went one more to Miles Morales, who is now Sig 40. Um, which isn't the end of the world because Sig 40 is a decent spot for him. He he works pretty well at like Sig 20, 40, 60 if I decided to rank him up. And I do think he is a pretty good champion. So not the worst pull, but yeah, double duping a champion is not what we were looking for there. So anyway, uh, we ended up losing this war. It was um, kind of a blowout, unfortunately. And um, we've been on a bit of a losing streak, but um, I'm still pretty proud of the Alliance. We've had some some big ups this season and um, the vibe and the the friendships and the players is always top notch so regardless of the result of the war i love playing with these guys and uh it was a pretty good effort by our battle group um you know despite a couple mistakes here and there so that's going to do it for today the next war video is going to be coming out a little bit later but i hope you enjoyed this one and you have a great rest of the day catch you in the next one